shall we just go and find out? Let's think about this first. So if you if you put a hundred percent of all your capital in each coin toss, say your thousand dollars, and then let's say you win, you know you double, you win, you double, you win, you double. After say a hundred coin tosses, the probability is pretty high that within those you have one loss and you lose everything, right? <laughs> so if you put all your money into it, then you almost guaranteed to lose at mm -hmm. some point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or you, you pretty much guaranteed to lose because you know, the, the chance of not losing is just so small. You know, it's, it's 50% of, uh, in the first coin toss, 0.2%, 0.25 in the next one, 0.125. And it just goes down really fast. So, so the probability of not losing is just really really small okay and so after a hundred thousand it's it's like nothing okay so now if you if you put a tiny tiny amount of your thousand dollars and say you have a thousand dollars and you put in one cent every time it basically means oh you win you lose you win you lose but then you you may double your one cent to two cents right but then it goes down and what that means is it will take a phenomenally long time because your your expectancy of your 50% is almost 50-50, meaning your capital hardly grows. You know, you still have more or less $1,000, but then you end up maybe with $1,000 and 10 cents or something after 100,000 coin tosses, right? Because you just put in such a small amount. So... That's not really a great strategy either because it doesn't really help. So what we can do is we can actually build some interesting simulations around this. Let's see how we can actually cover this. So first of all, we need to introduce a bias coin. And so one way to do this is we got in random, we got np.random. Well, actually, rand is a good one. So we can produce uh, random numbers between zero and one. Yeah. Whenever we run this, it's between zero and one. Yeah. Now, if we want to get a number between minus zero, minus 0 0.5 and plus 0 0.5. Yeah. We just have to subtract 0 0.5. <laughs> yeah. And then we get numbers that are equally, sorry between uh, minus 0 0.5 and plus 0 0.5, yeah? So sometimes they're positive, sometimes they're negative, okay? Now, one thing we can now do is, because it's 50-50, right? We can actually shift it a little bit mm -hmm. to, the, to the right. So instead of minus 0 0.5, we could say minus 0 0.49, yeah? So that means, 49% it's on the left, 51% it's on the right. Yeah. So we got more numbers in the positive than in the negative. Does that make sense so far? Mm -hmm. So far? Yeah. yeah. Now, we don't want those numbers. What we actually want is a coin toss, heads or tails. So what we can do is we just take a sign of this, we say mp.sign. And so we get a positive or a negative one, you know, so it's either plus one or minus one. It's always plus one or minus one. So we run it, it's one, you know, we run it again, one. And, and you know, if we, if we keep running it, we get a lot of ones. Ah, oh, there we go, minus one, minus one, minus one, one, yeah? And then what we want to do is we want to just take a hundred thousand of those. Mm -hmm. All right. So one, one, see, and, and so if we, if we took, um, if we took the sum of those, it should be close to zero, but slightly positive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, cause we have a hundred thousand, see, see, we, we got a slightly positive number every time yeah cool so
so now now that we have this so we have coin tosses right and we produce them such that that they are a little bit in our favor so the next question is how would we then figure out how would we maximize our our winning mm -hmm. and the way we want to do this is we want to express it in the percentage of the current the current value that we have maybe a thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars or whatever yeah so the question is what percentage of our winnings should we invest because you know whether you start with one dollar you know you maximize it for one dollar or a thousand dollars it's always the same right it doesn't matter really what you're yeah. starting with you you basically just take that specific uh, number so if you have already won a hundred thousand dollars you don't want to invest a fixed dollar amount because then as you win more that gets smaller and smaller and smaller 